So again, we're going to do no notes today, and it doesn't always work out. So let's hope that yeah. let's hope that today it works out. Oh, it works so okay. well. You think so? Yes. Sir. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, turn with me, please, to Ephesia. Again, we want to welcome everybody that's going to be listening to this message on the radio. Hurry up, get to the radio. Friends, family, have if you're on Facebook and you know, just found out about our live services, please tell your friends and your family to join us. And on YouTube and the Ramek channel, welcome. Shabbat Shalom to you as well. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11. He, Mashiach, the one who rose from the dead, gave some to be shlichim, apostles, ambassadors, some nevi'im, prophets, some proclaimers, evangelists, some rochim, pastors, and the Morim teachers. So the fivefold ministry is as follows. Shalichim, Nevi'im, Evangelists, Proclaimers, Roim, Pastors, and Teachers. People have always asked me about the office of the Apostle, or the office of the Shalichim. The Shalichim is an office, in my opinion, that is not understood. Therefore, the name of this message, the life of a Shaliach. The life of a shaliach. Number one, a shaliach has to be someone who has, number one, the ability to do all the other offices of the Ruach HaKodesh. In other words, a true shaliach, and some think that apostles or shalichim are not for today. They don't know what they're talking about. They're ignorant. And the reason, they, the reason that the, the church is in the mess that it's in, and the reason much of the Messianic community is in the mess that it's in, is because they don't believe that apostles are there today. They believe that in order to be an apostle, you have to be an eyewitness of the resurrection of Yeshua. Nonsense. There are apostles who are eyewitnesses, and then there are apostles who are not eyewitnesses. That has nothing to do with being an apostle. Because it says clearly here, look, verse 10, Ephesians 4.10. The one who descended is the one who ascended, meaning after his resurrection, he gave apostles. That means there were hundreds and thousands of apostles that were not with him when he was on earth. That were with him after he rose from the dead. Hello. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Boker Tov. <laughs> so don't go around listening and repeating all the religious babble, babble that apostles are not for today. That's why the churches and the messianic communities are in the shape that they're in. Because they believe that shlichim and apostles are not for today. It says he rose, and then after he rose, he gave many to be shlichim, nevim, proclaimers, roim, and morim. So number one, a shaliach is for today. Shlichim is a vibrant, ongoing office. Number two, shlichim, in order to, what does it mean to be a shaliach? What is the life of a shaliach like? Number one, a shaliach, if you're taking notes, can and has the ability to be any and to function in any of the other four offices of the Ruach HaKodesh and of the body of Yeshua. Can I get a witness? Amen. Any of the other four offices. So that in addition to a shaliach being a pioneer who establishes ground and works on ground and goes into places and uh, undertakes tasks that others have not been called to. Remember what Rav Shaul and other Shalichim said to him? We labor somewhere, anywhere, turn to your neighbor and say anywhere. 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 We labor somewhere, anywhere where Yeshua was not first named. 1 Corinthians 3.11 No foundation can any man lay than that which is already laid, which is the Mashiach Yeshua. Yeah. He said, our shaliach goes where someone else has not worked. Fallow ground, ground that needs to be worked, needs to be tilled, needs to be plowed, needs to be sown, needs to be reaped. A shaliach doesn't build on somebody else's work. A shaliach doesn't steal somebody else's work. A shaliach doesn't borrow somebody else's work. A shaliach is someone who builds on the foundation of Yeshua HaMashiach himself, being the chief cornerstone. Amen. Amen. So he builds where no one else has bestowed labor. That is the pioneering spirit necessary for a shaliach of Yahuwah. 
for Shalia, a pioneering spirit, not someone who follows the crowd, not someone who just copies everybody else, not someone who goes with the flow, someone that's not afraid to buck the current and is called by Yahuwah to buck the current. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. He's a pioneering spirit, or she is a pioneering spirit, who wants to work around, establish congregations, establish communities, establishes moshavs, moshavs, moshavot, in places and in situations and in cities where no one else has worked before, no one else has labored before. It's all virgin area, virgin calling, virgin territory. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. Again, this message, the life of a shaliah. The life of a shaliach. A shaliach is someone who, when needed, can open his mouth and be a navi or a naviya, a prophet. He can fulfill all five offices of Ephesians 4:11. Rainy, you with me? How many offices are there in Ephesians 4:11? Five. How many gifts of the ruach are there in 1 Corinthians 11 and 12? Uh oh. Nine. Don't ever confuse gifts with offices. They're not the same thing. Some of you believe they're the same thing. They are not the same thing. There are only five offices of the Ruach HaKodesh and of the risen, ascended Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. And they are Shlichim, Nevi'im, Proclaimers, Roim, and Morim. Hmm. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. And these are eternal. These are forever. So the shlichim is someone who can open his mouth and be a prophet. Yes. The life of a shaliach sometimes will require for him to be an evangelist, to win souls, yes. to go places where no souls are being won. He'll be out and he'll have to put on a different hat. Yes. He'll be out and he'll have to put on a different function. And he'll have to go soul winning mm -hmm. and teach others how to win souls and lead people for the first time into the kingdom into the blood of Yeshua and into the everlasting covenant of the Lamb. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. So a shaliach, to God, a shaliach is someone who can wear different hats, who can take off certain hats and put on different hats and function in different roles and different offices within the body of Yeshua. Can I get a witness? Amen. 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 So sometime he can be sent to establish congregations and works where Yeshua has never been named. Other times, he can be a prophet. Other times, he's required to be an evangelist or a proclaimer of men's souls. Yeshua said, he said, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Not pishers. He's not called us to be pishers of men and to mistreat other human beings and to downgrade and, and be condescending toward other human beings. We're not pishers of men. We're fishers of men. Matijahu 4 4. If you really follow him, you will be fishers of men. You and I will bring men into the kingdom by being evangel by evangelizing. We're not all called to be evangelists. We are all called to evangelize. But a sholiach or the life of a sholiach sometimes requires him to be a navi. Sometimes requires him to be a proclaimer. Sometimes requires him to be a shepherd. He establishes a work. It's a fresh work. It's a pioneering work. It's a new work. The pastor takes ill. The rabbi takes ill. There's no rabbi. The rabbi is disqualified or the leader is disqualified because of sin or because of some other act of disobedience. Or maybe Yahuwah took th that person, took that leader. So a shaliach may have to step in and pastor. He may have to step in and shepherd until another shepherd can be raised up. The shaliach is the greatest office, it's the highest office. <coughs> because it requires the ability to step into any of the other offices of the kingdom when the need arises and when it is required. Can I get a witness? Okay. And the thing about the shaliach is the life of a shaliach is not always going to be limited to one office. There will be seasons in Yeshua where he's required to be a more. There'll be seasons in Yeshua where he's required, required to be a prophet. There'll be seasons in Yeshua when he's required to be a shaliach and plant and work and labor in new ground, never be, ground that was never before till. Mm. Okay. There'll be times when he goes to a local congregation and the congregation is dead. No new souls are being saved. No new disciples are being yes. brought in. Yes. 